will perhaps tell you how to run your business because people don't trust businessmen so much in this country. At least that's what Edelman have found. Managing director of uh, Edelman is Amanda Little. Morning, Amanda. Hi. Good morning. Okay. So uh, the rest of the world, less inclined to trust politicians, more inclined to trust business, not us, though. Is that how it works out? Yes. Uh, the study shows that... Uh People in Australia, when we ask them, these are top quartile, AB type audiences, their trust in business over the last year has fallen 74%. And when they're asked if they want uh, government to intervene, 70% uh, of them said yes, they do. Did they actually say, for God's sake, somebody do something? <laughs> and 84% of them said they wanted more regulation. So, <laughs> so certainly um, they're looking, in Australia particularly, they're looking to government to uh, take a leading role. That's interesting to me because I know that we've seen the worst of cowboy capitalism in the U.S., but we've always had more control here, much more so than they have, haven't we? Are people confusing these two things, do you think? Well, I think there's been a couple of high-profile collapses where people have, you know, outwardly run what they said were good businesses like ABC Learning. and That, that immediately to came to mind, yes. Not true. So yeah. I think people are, um, I don't think people fully understand the amount of regulation in Australia. Uh, I think that needs to be communicated better. Um, but they are, you know, they've seen, uh, certainly global, the global kind of impact has um, had a big effect. You know, the household names in the United States and in Europe that just don't exist anymore. Mm. But the people that you interviewed are the people that you would expect to be taking a constant interest. They're not the people who uh, only pay attention to the world around them as far as politics and business is concerned every three years when there's an election on. Yeah, it wasn't, it's not like a news poll. This was a, 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 a survey of people um, in the top quartile of income yeah. who are uh, well-educated. So, yes, you would expect them, but they're, they're just as uh, fearful as everyone else, I think, at the moment. Trust in government high, 56%, you say. Trust in yes. business low at 43%. Yes, and of business... Uh, the most trusted sectors in business are technology and healthcare, and the least effect, uh, trusted are uh, insurance and media. Sorry about that. Well, you know, <laughs> we'll live with it. Trust in CEOs is a source of information less than 20%. Yes, and I think what that, what that shows is that people um, trust, uh, in the, because they've got a tr high trust also in not-for-profit or non-government organisations, um, they're looking to uh, academics and third-party experts as people who they trust to give them um, worthwhile information about business. So I think that that just shows that business has to have a range of uh, people that understand what they're doing and can talk about, uh, can talk about them in the community. So, uh, Amanda, when we put those academics and third parties on the media, as we do on this program on a regular basis, do people then trust them? Yes, yes, they do. <laughs> Even though it's coming through the dreaded media. <laughs> well, that was media companies. The individual journalists they might trust. Oh, them. I see what you mean. <laughs> yeah. So uh, some of us will rate better than others when it comes to mm. issues of trust. Very interesting, Amanda. I appreciate your time today. Thank you very much. Thank you. Amanda Little is Managing Director of Edelman. This is 2CC.